How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush and today we're going to talk about employee stock purchase plans. ESPP is a plan where your employer allows you to purchase stock at a discounted rate. Early on when I was working, I talked to some co-workers and oftentimes they would be a little edgy about buying stock. They're not sure if they should contribute to it or not. It might lose value, so then they're a little iffy about it. ESPP works like this. You have maybe three months and perhaps a stock would go up and down like that. So if your stock price began this period at 100 and it ended at 50, you can actually buy it for 15% off 50. $7.50 off, so it's 42.50. If you take all people in the United States and pick the middle guy, he will earn about $50,000 a year uh, as a household. You can usually contribute 15% of your yearly salary at maximum to this plan. So this would mean you can contribute $7,500. It's quite a lot of money, so sometimes people would actually not contribute because they need the money to pay bills. They're living paycheck to paycheck and you just cannot afford to take a little bit out. The thing with this is, if you can afford to do it, just hold off for maybe one month or three months and just sell it every three months, you would actually make up quite a lot of money from this. If you happen to buy the ESPP and sell it right away, right when it vests, there is zero risk, Re really, really zero risk because whatever money you put in to buy the stock, if you sell it the same day, you will essentially get a 15% discount on the stock. So let's just take this hypothetical value here, $7,500. You can buy it at $42.50. That means you get 176.5 shares. You turn around on the same exact day, 176.5 shares times $50. You sell it immediately means you get $8,823. 15% discount is uh, pretty pretty normal uh, from what I've seen. Uh, the difference in different company is the, the duration. Some of them do one month, some of them do three months, some of them do six months. The structure at which you buy and sell these shares it might differ a little bit from company to company, but most of the time, the 15% is a sure thing. It's not like buying a stock and you're hoping for it to go up or down. You buy it, you already made 15% right there. You can choose to hold on to it, but when you choose to hold on to the stock, you're taking the risk. If you sell it right when it vests, you are taking zero risk. That's a very important point there because the zero risk translates to actually 17.6% gain in whatever amount that you're, you have, for sure, with zero risk. A typical company would allow you to contribute anywhere from zero to 15%. Of course, you wanna max it out in order to maximize this benefit. So you max out your 15%, which means you are spending $7,500 a year on shares. You sell it every single quarter, so there's a holding period of three months. Every single quarter, you invest and then you uh, sell it. And by the end of the year, you would get $8,823, which translates to a $1,323 gain. Now, what is the percentage gain from this over that? Is actually 17.6%. This percentage is great and all, but you really want to look at the actual dollar value you get, which is over a thousand dollars. So my advice for those young people out there that just started at a company and uh, they have the ability to buy shares, you should definitely max it out. If you don't want to take any risks in the stock market, max it out and sell it every single time that it vests. And you would quickly, right there, you made uh, a 17.6% gain. Some of the arguments against doing this that I've heard is that some people, they may not have the cash flow to spend this extra money because, you know, if your paycheck suddenly shrinks because you're contributing to this plan, uh, you gotta make do. If you need the money in your paycheck and you cannot take that out, well, that's, that's the way it works. You, if you can't do it, then you can't get the benefit. 
But think about this. If you do it, you would essentially make $330 every single quarter, every three months. So the drawback here is you have to take some money out of your paycheck in order to put it into this little pot where it accumulates a little bit more, a little bit more every month until, until the vest date. And then the company would buy those shares for you and then it will vest. Essentially contribute 1875 per quarter, which means every paycheck, every month paycheck, you reduced your take home pay by $625. That's quite a lot of money. However, if you check out my other video on how to manage your cash flow, you should be able to have enough money saved up in your savings to weather this big expense. This is the amount that you have to put up and let it kind of sit there. And it's making you $330. Just you put this in there and it makes you $330 on top of that. I mean, to me, it's a no brainer. You should definitely max out your ESPP. I hope I've convinced you enough and especially for the young people that just got a job and have the option of ESPP. Uh, you might be a little shy about it. Oh, you don't have the money. You'd rather have a bigger paycheck, but you really should max it out every chance you get, even early on. You max it out and sell it every quarter, and then you'll get more income. Not everyone can do this. Only people that have this cash buffer of about $625, you can allow your income to reduce by that much every month, then you would get, you know, 18% uh, gains. This is a pretty significant amount of income here for essentially zero risk, but you have to put up money up front. As soon as you do it for the first three months, it's like you don't really need to keep on having this reduced income. You just do it for the third, first three months and then you sell it, right? And then you can use that money and divide it over the next three months. That's my spew about ESPP. Should definitely contribute to the max to it. Yeah, it's free money. T-Rex here also has ESPP and he contributes 15% maximum. So I noticed in my comments, a lot of you viewers really like my finance videos. In fact, a lot of you subscribe because of some of my finance videos. So I hope you like this video about ESPP. Do me a favor, if you actually contributed less than 15% and because of my video, you max it out or maybe you, you uh, had 0% contribution and then you suddenly max it out and get you know, $1,000 per year because of me, please let me know, I would get a kick out of it. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to click like somewhere over here. Leave a comment down below if you have a question or if you argue against maxing this out. And don't forget to subscribe somewhere over here. Thanks for watching.